Beef about the hoe. I ain't beefing about the hoe. Trying to get rid of these lows. I'm a walking million dollars. You can smell it on my clothes. When I see my little hood rat, she tugging on my jaw. She be like, We back, we back, we back. Philly First 48, Season 9. We here, man. Episode 8. I'm here with a special guest. Y'all already know, man. Fat boy in the man, motherfucking we, building, man. We man, we outside, man. I, I'm, I'm honored to be on Philly First 48. Appreciate you, Johnny Mac. You already know, man. We outside. You know oh, how we do this, man. I appreciate you coming we through, man. We ain't never going there. We outside like we homeless, you heard? Real, real solid nigga, man. Facts. Stanley Word, you. man. Facts. You been doing your thing for some time, man. I want to give you flowers, dog. Like, I appreciate you. Bro, like, you the first one that hit the scene. Yeah. And was doing, yeah. like, amazing things. Like, I'm talking about on the internet. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Creating content, playing yeah, with the content first. Yeah. You was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm the pioneer for that shit. You know Come what I'm on. saying? Like, Come on. shout out to everybody that's doing that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like, as you get older in this shit, and as you like uh, experience different endeavors, you want to just you want to just evolve and grow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was doing. Like back when I was doing that shit, like the skits on Instagram and shit like that. I was 22, 23. I'm yeah. 30 now. I can't do the same thing I was doing back right. then. So I got to switch it up and show them growth and show them um, uh, the the, uh, the other side of things. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like okay. making revenue, doing things like, because I always been like the nigga that wanted to make money. Right. I didn't want to be the nigga that just been famous, have clout, fuck clout, fuck fame. I want Let's the money. Yeah. I want the money. I need the money. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And you that's how you've been Facts. carrying, man, your whole career. You've been elevating, like, Facts, you know what I mean? Of course. To doing movies and yeah. you know what I mean? Being around certain people, like, you know what I mean? You a yeah. goat yourself, yeah, like, you know it. what I mean? I, I just know, like, you know what I mean? You from Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah, uh, right yeah. around the corner from us. For shit, sure. Bro. Like, I already, you know what I mean? I saw like when you like like the confidence you had back then. And shit like that, I'm like, oh, this nigga, he been through some shit. Yeah, like, facts. Definitely. You know what I mean? You weren't scared. You was just sticking out there and just doing whatever. Definitely. And that shit was making sense. Like, you know what I mean? You go, I go back and look at the videos as I was preparing for this joint. I'm like, damn, this nigga a legend itself. You did so much. Yeah, In a 10-year span. Like, you 10 know what years. Mean? Like, still I've been popping. on the scene 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just yeah. keeping my name relevant and keeping my name on the upbringing because yeah. you went in this shit, you could dial quick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got to keep your name relevant. You got to do different shit. You got to switch it up. You got to shake things up a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't just stay the same and be the same person. You yeah. got to shake things up and know what you want to do. And That's what it. I want to do is make money. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't own shit for no reason. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, I, my, my situation is uh, uh, delicate, but mm. I got a house, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, I purchased a house, like, you know what I'm saying? I did grown shit, That's you know what I'm it. saying? What, what I supposed to, like, I didn't do a lot of right shit I was supposed to, but yeah. I did, like, something. Yeah. I did things that I knew, like, I could, like, damn, I did, mm. like, I come from nothing. I come yeah. from Irvington, New Jersey, the dirt, nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mom, pops, working nine to five. Sure. Earning ends, meet, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So I came, I couldn't get the Jordans. Like when, when Jordans came out back in the day, I couldn't get them. Man. You know what I'm saying? Now, like in, in my mind, I'd be like, I go in the store, like 10 years span, like I always carry around $5,000 in my pocket, like for sure. Like Man, as anybody, yeah. as yeah. anybody that see me, they like, as anybody. So it's like with that shit, it's like, it's a tremendous, like, um, elevation for me, like damn. coming from the trenches and coming from the the slums of this shit. You like, damn, bro. Like, I'm really, I really could go in the store and buy like ten pair of Jordans. Like, I could damn. buy shit for my niggas. I could buy it's shit for my. Feeling, it's bro. a good feeling, cause damn. back then I couldn't even buy a pair of ACGs. Jeez. I used to ask my mother. My mother would be like, Nah, I ain't got it right now. I gotta yeah. pay the light bill, yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I converted into stealing. You know, sure. doing selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You feel me? But you try to do the right thing, like, you know what I mean? I see that you had got a job and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, hell yeah, I was working Dang, at Chipotle. Work, yeah, I think that's crazy. I had a McDonald's joint. Yeah, I was working at that's Chipotle. Crazy. That was my, yeah. my first. That, <laughs> like, no cap, yeah. I worked at this car wash, too, on yeah. Lines Avenue, where I'm from. Damn. I worked at this car wash. The yeah. nigga gave me a, like, car wash. Like, I was going there and shit. You feel me? I was happy as fuck, like, working, you know what I'm saying? Making yeah. a couple dollars. And I was getting that shit at the end of the day. So at that time, I'm like, damn, I like, you know, I'm working this shit. I'm, I'm happy I got a job. And then I was working at Chipotle. You feel me? From May to like, May to like, I, when I was working from Chipotle from like February to May. Damn. I had got fired because I be tripping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I forgot how I got. No, I got fired because I was on some bullshit. I was tripping. And I came late to start like 
tripping on the service manager and telling him, fuck yourself. And then, like, they brought me to the back, like, you're fired. And I just started tripping, you feel me? But <laughs> I'm fired, nigga. Yeah. I'm fired. So then, right, that, at that point, when I got fired, then I said, I can't never work again. Shit, I got to I gotta go do something greater. I know, yeah. what my, I know what I'm destined for. And yeah. then, sure enough, I swear to God, my nigga, I swear to God, Johnny Mac, word to my kids, word to my mother. A year later, I popped. I went crazy. Damn. I went nuts, bro. I went in pause. No diddy. I went crazy, my nigga. Yeah, no like, diddy. No, no, no diddy. diddy. Pause. I went crazy. <laughs> like, my shit I, took I, off a certain way that I ain't never thought it could take off. It took off. So you off. was into the internet shit? Like, or I you mean, just, I, you was, I, I was on Vine going oh, crazy. Vine the, yeah, right, yeah I, was the going, I was going crazy yeah, okay. on Vine doing okay. like little viral videos on Vine, getting millions of views on yeah, Vine. I remember that wave, yeah. You feel me? But it, it wasn't well, picking up. It wasn't paying the bills. It wasn't right. It wasn't paying my, getting my pocket so I could go get something to eat. Yeah. So I had to, you feel me, maneuver. I'm like, yeah, this shit ain't really. But then that's what Instagram, niggas don't know. Instagram used to do, just do pictures. <laughs> so when shit. Instagram used to do pictures, I used to like, I'm like, damn, like, when they going to do, I used to say shit like, like when they going to do videos? Like, niggas want to do videos like Vine. Then sure enough, like, two months later, they doing videos. So I'm yeah. like, I right, bet this is my chance. Boom. Because Instagram, the new hottest thing, this this back in 2013, wow. 2012. So Instagram started 2011. Yeah, People that don't know that. That shit started 2000. Matter of fact, it started 2011. Yeah, it started 2011. Because I made my account 2012. Damn. It started 2011. Instagram Damn, been around I, for a minute. I feel like an old nigga. Yeah, Damn. so I did the whole diagnosis of this shit away because I study a lot of shit. Yeah, and I be trying to have my intellect involved with, with the with the algorithm and the social media shit because it's a tool to make a lot of money. Yeah, it's 100%. a tool because I made millions of dollars oh, off Instagram, that. off that's being crazy. myself too, but off Instagram, I never thought I could that's make money or just off the internet. And I did it. Like yep. sh like for real. Yo, listen, the people cannot forget this evil though, fat. You always was a giver. Like yeah, of course. See, that, that was stuck out to me the most and yeah. shit like that. Like I'm like, damn, this nigga just I'm talking about before God did. Joe. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about before Drake was yes. doing it. Bro, you was out here. Yes, they hit me families. up for that video. They, yeah. was, they hit me up for that. I forgot who hit me up for that video. They hit me up for that video. Hmm. I just couldn't make it. I was I was doing something. I think oh, I was shit. in, I don't know if I was in Japan or I was in Jamaica. I was somewhere, but they hit me up for that video. Damn. No cap. No cap. No cap. I was doing that shit way, like, take the shit off my back, give it to a kid. Like, yeah. no cap. Like, for Bro, real. I'm talking about you, like, and it but was But that's genuine. why I'm so blessed. That's okay. why I'm blessed. Okay. I'm blessed. It ain't no coincidence. Like, no cap. You can ask my ex-wife. She'll tell you. I'll go to the casino, right? I'll lose $12,000 on Thursday, right? Then Friday, I'm getting the $12,000 back. She'll be like, I don't know how you do it. How do you do it? Yeah. She'll look at me like, nigga, you was the amazing. How you get the money back? Whether it's off promotion videos, whether it's off, like, a nigga yeah. hit you up to book you or something. I'm yeah. getting the money back like this. Oh Damn. my soul, I'm blessed. She'll tell you. If if you bring up it for an interview, she'll tell you. She'll be like, yeah, that nigga get money like mysteriously. He'll oh, lose money 100. and get money mysteriously. That's my Mysteriously. I used to say to him, like, damn, I'm scared. Like, I'm just getting money mysteriously. Like, <laughs> I just, like you know what I'm saying? But I know where it come from. It's God because I'm I'm blessed and I'm pure yeah. and I know what I want for people because I, I'm, I'm the type of person, I'm the biggest heart. That's what I call myself all the time. The biggest, the biggest. Because at the end of the day, you want to, you want to, you don't want to be, you don't want to be the arrogant type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you got money or you got fame. Yeah. You want to show the people that, not even show the people knowing yourself that you are, you are, you are, you are um, a phenomenal person in your, in your own right. Uh -huh. Fuck 100%. what the people think because the people going to think what they want because I was doing the videos recording. Oh, you doing that for the cameras? No, I was doing that shit off camera. Man. I was doing that shit when I was broke when I was rocking blue chucks for six months. Like You giving shit like... Giving. I had a bag of clothes. Nigga, I ain't have no money in my pocket. I used Man. to go down to Penn Station in Newark, New Jersey, give out bags of bags. I used to have bags of clothes and just give them out. I had no money damn. in my pocket. I was catching the bus shit. on my soul. And that come from like, damn, I know how I feel. I know how I feel. Not have, shit. Not so have nothing. I, not have nothing. I used to go to the McDonald's, get 100 cheeseburgers, feed the whole Penn Station, feed Abe. Like, that. you know what I'm saying? I like, they, I always yeah. do uh, humani humanitarian things, like, yeah. because that's what's needed in the world. Because this shit is so dark. Mm -hmm. People it's, don't realize it's super that dark. Yeah. this shit is dark. People yeah. don't have good intentions for you, especially uh -huh. when you get money, especially when you on top, especially when you are a, a, a pure person. They want to they want to see you crumble, and wow. when and when you see them, when they see you crumble, that's when they be like, damn, uh, uh, you uh, they won. Wow. You know what I'm saying? No, wow. but we can't let the devil win.
Dang. We can't let the devil win. That's real rap. We, we, we can't. Can. We can't. When you let the devil win, that's when he know he got you. God is real. Simple. I believe. Uh, that, it, listen, For that's sure. one thing that kept me. God, man, it, it had to be. For sure, yeah. You, know what I mean? you coming from, like, the part of Jersey, you know what I mean? You coming yeah. from, you know what I mean? Just, 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 just let the people understand, like, you know what I mean? When, when, the, first, when, the, when the first wheel went up and shit like that, let them let 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 my audience know like when, when it got real and shit from that first video. You know what I mean? Take us to take us right there and shit. I like mean, that. when the first video came out, like you know what I'm saying? Like when I did my first viral video, right? Like I was in, I did it. So I was like, I ain't know what it was like to expect. I'm like, I did it, fuck it. Like I'm just in the hood doing what I do, being goofy, being like myself, doing you know that shit. That shit went crazy. I'm like, uh oh, Mayday. <laughs> Got him. I said, let me, let, 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 let's get him. Let's get this money now. I'm telling all my niggas, like, look, shut up. You should, I'll be rich. We ain't had no, I ain't had nothing in my pocket. We just lit. We doing numbers. I'm doing two million a day off of one video. That's, two million a day. Like, off one video. Numbers. I got Snoop Dogg posting me, DJ Clue, like, all big niggas. So like, you like, damn, it, damn Snoop Drake Dogg. Comment, Drake commenting, like, every, like, back then. You feel me? So I'm hey. like, I'm like, oh, Mayday got him. I'm like, I'm in. Let's go. When I got in, when when they threw me that uh, that that spiral football, <laughs> I caught it. I ran with it right there. I never let it go. I ran with it. Be consistent. I was Movies, consistent. All that shit. Like, consistent. After yeah. that video, I never stopped. Damn. I didn't stop. I was consistent the whole. I'm still consistent now. Yeah. I don't it, play that's no hard games. To do ten years. That's ten that's years, hard. bro. Ten that's years. I've been in this shit. Ten years. I've been in this shit. With with with, with ten, you know. Like, smash the P. Like, yeah, come on. Like, I got the hookup too. Come like, on. that was classy. You was one of the real stars. We can't forget about come on. shit like that. Like, you know Master what I mean? P gave me, Master P gave me my first, you know, movie. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. being on set, you know what I'm saying? Master P, like, book yeah. first class flights. Nigga, when yeah. we had a break, he like, yo, Fabo, go to Vegas. Hey, go first class flight. Go to Vegas. Go take some time off. Mm -hmm. Like you doing good, boom. Master P doing shit like that. That's I'm crazy. looking like, damn, I'm in. I made it. I made it. Uh, What's some of the things you learned from me? I mean, I learned a lot from Master P. You know what I'm saying? Like being around him and shit like that. Like being militant. I went to his house. Like you know what I'm saying? Calabasas type shit. So it's like being around Master P. Like he a multi, three hundred millionaire type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real. So it's like. It's like, damn, like you gotta know how to maneuver in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. things niggas ain't gonna do right, some things niggas gonna do right. Yeah. You just gotta know how to adapt mm -hmm. right. to the situation. You know what I'm saying? 100%, 100%. Cause one day I'm gonna be in that position having three hundred million dollars. Like, cause 100%. he he started a big, a big, big, big organization. No limit was big. Do you remember that shit? This is bro? Master P I'm dealing with here. Yeah, exactly. I'm bringing I'm bringing my people to his crib. Bro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm bringing my whole every my niggas to his house. Shit. Like, yeah. this is Master P, like, five, I don't give a fuck what you do. You gonna bring him? Come on. He, right. He's still on gangster shit, though. He's yeah. still like, yeah, bring him. <laughs> nigga, there's no limit, nigga. Nigga ain't doing that. I ain't scared of nobody. I'm, there's no limit, nigga. Because, you know, Master P was on some sugar night shit, too, but he was more smoother with it. He wasn't, like, but he, but at the end of the day... He was smoother, but he kept, he kept Snoop safe, too. Yeah, though, he, like, did. he did. But, like, he, but, because, you know, Master P from New Orleans, so it's like, yeah. it's a, they ain't scared of no niggas. Like, they ain't, nigga, yeah. they didn't, nigga, they grew up in houses with fucking no bricks and a storm hit it, wiped the They don't give a fuck about <laughs> nothing in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? I got yeah. people down in New Orleans. Shout out to New Orleans. I got Shit. people down there. So when I was dealing with Master P, he just saw some like, like he been doing it a long time. Mm, man. You feel me? So yeah. when I when I was around him, I was just taking heed to certain shit. You know what shit. I'm saying? You 100%. feel me? Be on time for shit. You know, be prepared, be ready at any mm. given moment, and just have that, and just have that poise, and just have that that knowing of situations and shit like that. You can't you can't expect the good out of everybody. You gotta expect the worst out of people sometimes, because mm. everybody expect the good out of them. Everybody mm. expect people to not to come with intentions, but when people come with intentions and then you be mad, you be like, nigga, you should already expect that. Don't. Right. Don't think, don't think, don't think for the good for everybody. You gotta think about the bad too. Hundred percent. Cause hey, we meet people. But, oh, they good. They a good person. But then they do some bullshit. That's like uh -huh. going into a relationship with a, a woman. You be thinking she the one. You be like, oh, I love her. I love her. I love her. And then you find out she a, she you know she a hoe or something or yeah. whatever. And then you sit up there crying and shit like that. No, don't cry. Just suck it up and just do what you gotta do. Shit, man. It be hard. But yeah, man. Just, just, just being linked with. with 
you know, Master P, him, him giving me a role all the way into like. And he gave me know, some money too. That's that, and that's thrill. He gave me some money. He gave me some money. He gave me a check. That he was like one money. of your first, the first. No, nah, that wasn't my first big check. My mm -hmm. first big check was from Empire. Mm. Shout out Gazi and shit. My first big check was from Empire. He gave me twenty five thousand for my catalog. <laughs> twenty five thousand. That was my first big check. Twenty five bands. <laughs> Well, damn. Yeah, twenty five bands. My first big check. So what the what, what, what the first thing you buying? Like what Man, the I, was, I thought I was rich. <laughs> nigga, I never had twenty five thousand before. I said Sorry. I told anybody. I told my like nigga, shut up, nigga. I'm rich, nigga. I got y'all dope. Like you know, just talking shit. I'm playing though, but twenty five thousand was my first big check from uh, yeah. Empire. They gave it to me for my catalog. Yeah, that was hard. yeah. That was that was decent. Yeah. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They sent to my mom's. You know what I'm saying? I did a little. I did what I was supposed to. You know, bought yeah. sneakers and shit. Did the normal. Had little racks on me in my pocket. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Just did no, the... No, no, you deserved it, though, because you built your brand up. Yeah, until, like, so, you yeah. Know what I mean? When they get it, when I seen that check, I just heart dry. I said, 25K? <laughs> I said, for nothing? For me? Oh, I yeah. said, is this for mine? <laughs> I said, they said, yes, your name is on it, right? My mother, she, my mother, she be, um, I love my mother, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, really she, she just bring me back to reality. I said, Ma, this is my, she said, nigga, your name on it. She said, you gonna cash it, you gonna, you gonna give me some too. Like, you know, like that's how my mother be. So you feel me? Yeah. That shit was a blessing in its in his own right, in his mm -hmm. own self. Oh, for yeah, seeing, like, you know, the the earnings, you know, mm -hmm. of being myself. Oh, you know, and then after that, it just kept going crazy. Shit, like yeah. it like just getting money on the ground, getting money from companies. Yeah. You know, I did, yeah. I, I had to deal with Zoomies. Damn. You feel me? I had to deal with Zoomies. Like, you know, like it was just a lot yeah. of shit. Like going crazy. I had to deal with GoPuff too. Damn. In Philly, I, I came to Philly. I had Damn. a deal with GoPuff, like you know what I'm saying? Cause GoPuff yeah. stations is in Philly, yeah. so I had a deal with. Well, that's my first time I got a check with them, ten thousand wow. dollars. That's good money. You know what I'm saying? So it was Brand like, ambassador, though. Yeah, that's that's one thing. They, they, like I give you credit for that. Yeah, bro. That's, shit like that. When you type in Fat Boy, you your face pop up. Yeah, and shit bro. Like that. You built it, so yeah, like, bro. You know like what I mean? that's before GoPuff. Yeah. That's before GoPuff was even like I'm not, yeah. before, anywhere. Yeah, before. I was fucking with GoPuff when they was in the warehouse door. Like, yo, we not the, we not a pop in this company, but we're gonna give you ten thousand. We're gonna we're gonna invest in you. We're gonna believe in you. That's right. how they came to me. Like, we're gonna believe in you, and we're gonna put it in your hands. And you know, please just take our company somewhere. And now they big. <laughs> They're the biggest snack company for weed smokers in the oh, world. Yeah, they doing yeah, ads we, all over there in Japan. You, yeah. They everywhere on my soul. And, and when you and, and, and you trust it, like you know the type that yeah, you know, like get some good trade. You know, like yeah, go pop and call at me. That's we gotta good. work. You know, you way overdue. Go be a check. Yeah, for real. Listen, man, the industry, man. I mean, you've been you've been in and out of the industry. Like you've been dug in all the way into like working with everybody. Like you know, what I mean, you pull up your skits and shit like that. You work with the best of the best. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, one person that I saw you locked in. Was with Diddy and shit like that. Oh, uh, made that. What was it like? like or should I, I say mean, no Diddy? Like, what? I mean, like, what, what what my shit is like? I got money with I got money with Puff. You feel me? Yeah. Puff always treated me like a you know like a like family. Hmm. I can't. I'm not gonna speak negatively on nobody's name That's that right. I don't know of his chart that he's that he's um that he's innocent or he's guilty. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That ain't my business. That's for the judge to decide. That's for the World to decide, that's for God to decide. That ain't 100%. for me to decide. I got other shit going on. That ain't my business. So right. when he like when I like from my standpoint, yeah. like you know, like doing business with Diddy mm. Puff, it was good business. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? I when see you was going with the You was like Yeah. He was yeah. So when when shit when shit, you know, when business ain't you know when business, when when you when you doing business and certain things you be like I bet that it won't work for me. We not doing business no more, but it's always love. Okay. Yeah, so 100%. it was a situation where Puff wanted to lock me in for a seven year contract. Damn. For a TV show on Revolt, I shot the pilot in Miami. I stayed in Miami for two or three two or three weeks. I shot mm. the pilot. We it was the Adventures of Fat Boy type shit. Like like mm. you know like going around like we we was playing with alligators and shit like that. Like just Ew. doing the adventures like Fire. you know just showing people the outlook of a hood nigga doing Going to Egypt, going to Paris, type shit. That's fine. That's what that's what the, that's what the show was about. Mm. So I shot the pilot for three for three weeks. Mm. Three weeks I shot the pilot. Damn. Puff got me the big ass mansion, paid me money, mm. you know. 
We sh we shot the we shot the um the what's the name? So I got money with Puff. Yeah, that's honey. And then every time, every time I uh Deleon, Ciroc, I did a Ciroc commercial with him, you know what I'm saying? I got a check. So anything that when me and Puff Link, it was business and it was love. Right. So I can't speak negatively about a man that I don't know if it's true or not. That ain't my place. Yeah. That's God and the jury. Yeah. That ain't my business. I just know when we when we um when we did business together, it was, it was cool. always solid. And it was always love. And then no, no, no freak shit never. I don't play that shit. I will poke a nigga up. With a knife, daddy, I would poke him up. Daddy. You know what I'm saying? I would poke him up. I don't like niggas calling me daddy and all that shit. <laughs> call you know what I'm saying? Boy daddy, like, nah. Women call there. me daddy. You know, women call <laughs> niggas daddy. Like, I don't do all no that. Diddy. No diddy. No diddy. No. No diddy. But, you know, like, I can't speak. Because, like, you know when people, people just follow trends nowadays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And especially, like, and me, I can't, how I can't follow a trend when I know Puff. And yeah. I know, like... He ain't had no attentions with me. Never. Yeah. I don't know what he did with people. He never had no bad attentions with me. Every time I said it was always love. What's up? Right. Nigga, boom, boom. I'm out. Boom, boom. We getting money. Boom. Fact, I got this idea for you. You never go boom. to none of the parties? I went to the parties. <laughs> wait, I went what, to the parties. Right, Pause. Right, right. Like, you know, this is first for me. Let us know. Like, I went what, to the parties. What's up so, with the parties? The, the, the party I went to, it was in 2018, right? It was New Year's. I went to the party in 2018. We just flew in. Puff got me the flight. Puff got my whole team the flight. Mm. Not just me. Yeah. Not just me. He got the whole team the flight. You know what I'm saying? Not just me. Dude, that shit sound wild. That shit sound crazy. He got the whole team the flight. This is 2018. This is New Year's, right? So we fly. We I just bought my suit, you know, because with Puff shit, you got to wear the suit and all that shit. Yeah, you Boom, gotta you got to right. yeah. come right. Yeah. So I got the suit. got the shape up. Boom, we go to the hotel. We got the room. The assistant got us the room. We lit. I got all my niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? Shiggy with me. You know what I'm saying? Shiggy there, too. So what it was, we went to the, we um, we was running late. So mm. we got to Star Island late. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what Puff, that's what Puff stayed, Star Island. Mm. So we got to Star Island late. So we getting in, they, you know what I'm saying? Soon we pull up, I hop out of the car, security team, oh Fabo, come on, boom. My whole team, we rush the door, boom, we get in. Boom, we in there. You know what I'm saying? We all like, yeah, nigga, we here, nigga, we outside. You know, we chilling. Cause you know, I brought niggas from, we ain't had shit. Niggas got suits on, niggas fly. You know what I'm saying? The, you the show and yeah, I brought, I brought the, I brought the bitch ass nigga DK with me. You feel me? <laughs> That's your folks, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't like, I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I don't speak bad on nobody's name, but you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so. I brought I brought a couple niggas with me, you feel me? So we like, yeah, we in this bitch, we walking through, you know what I'm saying? We see the big crib, we like, yeah, nigga, we here, nigga, what's up, nigga? Niggas can't fuck with us back in the city type shit. So you feel me? We got there, we chilling, you know what I'm saying? We goes up, we rush, they like, yo, fat boy, they need you on the roof. Pause. Pause. They need us on the roof of the house. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. Like they need us on the roof of that crib, because it's me, it's me, Puff, Khaled. It's a picture mm. if you Google it. It's me, Puff, Khaled, Khaled, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled, real good friend of mine. He a big bro. I love DJ Khaled. Shout out to it, it was me, Puff, Khaled, and some a couple other people. We up, uh, Justin was up there too. Justin, my dog too. Justin was up there. And mm. we just like, we was up there. We, 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 um, the ball dropped. Pause. Mm. That was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. No diddy. Oh, we in yeah. Philly, bro. We got, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But that was crazy. Yeah, the, yeah, we was waiting for like the new year to come in. Yeah. And then it came in. So, you know, but it was never no, it was never no janky shit with Puff with me, bro. Yeah. Like never, bro. I ain't I ain't sitting up, I ain't following no trends. I don't give a fuck about these niggas, bro. Yeah, no, no, these niggas all following they, trends, you feel me? Yeah. Like they following trends and shit like bro, that. How you feel like like that a motherfucker can, can turn into your whole legacy without just you know what I mean? Without just not getting convicted, like just I from mean, just perception from the media. You know, I mean, one, because like, it's it's um it's karma too. Damn, it's karma, bro. When you do bad by people, you do wrong by people, bro. That yeah, shit come karma, back. Karma, it's gotta. That's, it, that's come back, bro. Yeah. That shit come back, bro. It ain't no Root coincidence, yourself. bro. Yeah. That shit comes back, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you do right by people, that shit gonna come back. When 100%. you do wrong, that shit comes back to you, bro. When you think you when you think you the um you the shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit backfires on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, God will humble you real quick. Yeah, 100%. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why... God that's will why humble I, you quick. Humble yeah. you. Yeah. So that's why the same token, I never try to go into any situation where I'm better than anybody or I'm trying to be 
better than you. You know what I'm saying? I call mm-hmm. myself the biggest because I call myself the biggest. That don't mm-hmm. mean I'm bigger than you. Right. You big, you, you, you your own biggest. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm big, I'm the biggest mm-hmm. for myself. Because yeah, I, I, I got confidence in myself. I know where I want to go. I'm the biggest. Right. Now, when somebody try to disrespect you or play you, then you gotta put them in their place. Like, listen, ho. Oh, Yes. Wait a minute, calm down. But I'm the biggest for myself. I don't want to be big. I'm not bigger. I'm not trying to be little you. Yeah. I'm the biggest for myself. Why I can't call myself the biggest? You you must be hating on me or you feel some type of way because I'm calling myself the biggest. Yeah. So that's 100%. on you. That's that's your own interior motive. Yep. That's your own um personal problems. Mm-hmm. That's your own misery, not mine. I call myself the biggest because I'm the biggest for myself. 100%. Not not to shit on you, not to belittle you. I call myself that because I'm me. Mm, Simple. The biggest, man. That's it. Shit. Facts. Look, the, the, the deal, that, that Puff deal, you like, no, that 6 Nah, my lawyer, head, like, my lawyer, shout out Bob Celestin. Bob yeah. Celestin is a lawyer for 6 9 XXX, mm-hmm. Dream Doll, DJ Self. Mm-hmm. Um, Who else? Designer. It's important to get that, them lawyers. Yeah, yeah shout out Bob Celestin. Yeah. I love you to death, Uncle Bobby. That yeah. been my lawyer 10 years. Yeah. He did all my deals. Every deal I could think of, he did it. Mm. That nigga Bob called me like, nigga, you not doing that shit. Mm. You not doing no seven-year deal mm. with Revolt. You're not doing it. So I didn't do it. And one thing about you, bro, you, I see you coming here with your team, everything. Like, let them know what, what's, like, what's going on with this weed strand, man. Like, oh, I got you got my, your I got homies my... in here, the hottest rappers from Jersey, one up from South Jersey. Yeah. You got your, you got your players put together, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what it is, I started my brand. I started my brand, Lung Smacker. I started my brand, Lung Smacker, in 2020. Mm. You know, I started with my ex-wife and shit like that. I started that shit with my ex-wife in mm. 2020 in June 5th. Mm. June 5th, 2020. You know what I'm saying? I had my chain. I lost it due mm. to alcohol being intoxicated. Wow. I lost it and shit like that. But mm. um, I, had it, I had it on my chain. Like, I had it on, like, June. It had the 2020 on it. I started back in June 5th, 2020, before, like, when the pandemic. Because mm. I was getting money, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, 10000 a month ain't really cutting it. You know what I'm right. saying? You got to do something else. Mm. We got to, like, this weed shit taking off. So I ran into my man, Desto Dub. Shout out Desto Dub. He's like, yo, fat boy, start a brand. Nigga, what are you doing? I I seen that nigga selling weed out the trunk, like, (laughs) out the van. He was selling clothes, weed, everything, nigga. Glasses, (laughs) watches, everything. He was selling everything, (laughs) nigga. Little little ears and shit, like, people real ears and shit. Like, you want a new ear, nigga? Like, he like, you want a new ear? Yeah, I got ears and shit. I'm like, what? Nigga, how much is that? He like, 10000 I'm like, man, for that ear? I'm cool. But he was selling everything. So he like, yeah, fat boy, start your new brand. Start, start, a, start a cannabis brand. I started that shit, man. I never looked back since, man. I never see, looked back man. since. Damn. Never looked back since. Went crazy, my nigga. I'm talking about crazy. Mm. Crazy. Went nuts. and Pause. Mm. I went crazy, bro. Like, crazy. Like, niggas were just, like, Damn. reacting to my brand. Lung smacker going crazy, bro. Everything you touch, shit gold. It went gold, bro. I, I, come, I was like, damn. Money was coming in like, like water. So, <clears throat> with that, I was like, damn, yeah, this is where I'm at. And mm. I was like, I'm like, I'm back. I'm here. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never left, but I was just like, yeah, it's on the up and up for this. I'm not, I'm never stopped doing this, so I just never stopped doing it. You know what I'm saying? You see, Fact. that's what you locked in with your, your ex wife. Like, you start the business with her. Yeah. So, you know, how, how that's going, man? I, I see. I, I see mean, just with, my ex, on, yeah. with my ex wife and shit like that, you know, we got children together, so it was like, I really ain't gonna speak bad about her name or nothing like that, but it mm-hmm. just like it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody comes to a chapter in their life where it gets that book gets closed, and you gotta move on and do different things. And that's what I'm doing. Like that's I'm true. not I'm not gonna dwell on the past or dwell on the negativity that I had in the past because that's what people want to see. Yeah. People want to see you. People want to see you dwell on the negativity. They want me yeah. talk negative about her. I'm not gonna do that. She's the a woman. Monetizing on yeah, that shit. Yeah, like, she's is a some woman. Real life shit. Like she's that a, I'm going through. That's what I'm saying. She's yeah. a woman. If you want yeah. me to cap. If you, She's a woman, bro. Like, I'm not about to sit up here and be, yeah, fuck that bitch. That bitch is slower and all. I'm not doing all that, bro. No, like, 100%. y'all niggas can have that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I may, I may do it on the phone to her. Like, yeah. probably, like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to do it in national it's television. You know what I'm saying? That shit corny. Yeah, that shit yeah. whack. And I have done that before. And I, I just look back on it like, Ah, mm-hmm. that shit corny, you know what I'm saying? That what I went out of that. He's yeah, emotional. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, the, the yeah. best of us. I've been married. Yeah. Bro, I've been married. I was married uh, five years. years. You feel me? I was married five years. Five so, years? Yeah. yeah, five I mean, years. So it's like, 
Up it's like and down. It's like with that, I got kids and shit like that. And, yeah. I, and, and, and there's a lot of shit that, you know, I, I regret that I did. You feel what I'm saying? 100%. Like, I should have took my time a little bit better with certain things, you know. I shouldn't have reacted to certain things, you know what I'm saying? I should have been more militant within my own right, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Building my family. Because when a man builds his family, he leads. Right. The woman doesn't lead. But mm. at the end of the day, it, it, it coincides with each other. You know, because at the end, when you get married, is you won. Yeah, you won. You know what I'm saying? Is it yeah. your wife comes before your kids? It, yeah, that's how it's. The it's in the Bible. Be. God yeah. did. God no, said that's, that. That's how it should be. Yeah. Yes, they come. Your wife, mm -hmm. when you're married, they come before your kids. No, hundred percent. So, with that, I wasn't putting, I wasn't putting her first. Mm. I was putting my my lifestyle first. Yeah. And that's where that's where it got that's where it got it. Um. Fucked up at you know, and then when mm. she, like when certain things started happening, it was just like you know, mm. it was on me. But at the end of the day, people want to say, "Oh, you hurt, you this, you that." I'm a strong-minded nigga. Mm. Like when it comes to certain things like that, I don't. I'm not a basic nigga, so I don't. I don't let that shit affect me. Yeah. Like you know, how some niggas that let let yeah. let a woman like control affect like yeah. a, a control your mo it yeah. don't. Yeah. She gonna do it. Look, my nigga, she gonna do what she wanted to do anyway. Yeah. I was doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. What not because you because you know why men so men so fucking wrapped up in their own self yeah. that they don't wanna they don't wanna admit they wrong. Yeah. So now when a woman do it, yeah. they wanna blame the nigga like oh <laughs> she cheating on you. Da -da -da. Yeah. My nigga, I was cheating that, millions of times. My nigga, obviously she. she she gonna do it. Yeah. You can't blame the woman. You can't say, you can't say, oh, she's like, uh, um, she's a slow and hoe. You are too. We both yeah. hoes. Yeah. I'm a whore too. She's a whore. We yeah. both whores. Yeah. So how can we, how can we, how can you be like, you know, so, but that's weak-minded people. Yeah, when you 100%. have weak-minded people like that, they yeah. tr they try to tear you down. Oh, fat boy, I see. I nigga, I'll be on the internet, I'll listen to fucking a slow song. They be like, you hurt. I'm like, damn, yeah, my nigga, yeah, I can't even yeah, listen to music energy. no more. Yeah, I can't yeah. even be my, like, yeah. just being my vibe. Like, I got to be hurt because of a woman. Like, you don't know what took place behind closed doors. Yeah. Not saying I gloat or I, I'm, I'm, I'm bragging about shit, but some people are weak-minded. They don't yeah. understand the magnitude of life. At all. At all. Especially, at all. Especially the marriage shit, man. That shit. Like, they don't understand it. it. They don't understand it. So they see, yeah. they see in the media, they don't see my, they don't see my cheats. No, 100%. Or they don't see, they don't see nothing 100%. like my cheat, but they see her cheats. They see her fucking with a nigga or whatever. They be like, uh oh, huh, my nigga, yeah. yeah she no, cheating. True. Like, yeah. my nigga, she ain't cheat. Nigga, I wasn't with her. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Nigga, me and her been separated since May. We've been oh, separated since what? May 2023, my nigga. So what are oh, you wow. talking about? She cheating on me. Nigga, like, are you dumb? Like, mm -hmm. fuck. She cheated on me when we was together. Yeah, one time. But mm -hmm. what you mean she cheating on me? Or I'm, she, like, it, yeah. it wasn't, but it wasn't like I'm chasing. It mm -hmm. wasn't like I'm behind her, like, you know, like, chasing her. Like, right. I'm, go. Mm -hmm. I done did too much. Go. Mm -hmm. I know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Go flop. Go live your life. Mm -hmm. You young. You 26. I'm 30. Go live your life. Mm. I don't got no heart for go. Mm. Do be do you like spread your wings? You feel me saying we've been locked down. We've been locked down five years since you was twenty one. Yeah. Go flock. Go do you. you I ain't got me. no issue with that. But I just hate how niggas always try to make it seem like make it seem like you know I'm on some sucker shit because mm. that's not the case, bro. I'm a stand up nigga, bro. I'm a mm. solid nigga, bro. I know what this shit come with, bro. Like yeah. I would never let nobody fuck up my bag or fuck up my mentality. Hundred percent. My my that's how you say it. Yeah, mentality. Yeah. Mentality. Yeah. I would never let nobody fuck that shit up because once that shit is fucked up, your whole life is yeah. ruined. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would never let no woman fuck up my mentality to get yeah. in his back or provide for my children. Yeah, that's how I was saying. You know, because that's what I'm yeah. doing now. Provide for my, make sure my children have a legacy. So when, so when, so when, God forbid, I'm like, they could come in, Johnny, oh, you fat boy? Yeah. You, you oh. fat boy, son? Oh, yeah. I bet, yeah, come on, you want something to eat? Come yeah. on, about to take your son to eat. Yeah. So that's the legacy you want to build with your 100%. children. And that's what matters. You know what I'm saying? You see my daughter, my daughter, oh, that you fat, like, what you doing? Out? Come on, nah, get mm -hmm. in the car. You ain't, yeah. you fat boy, dude. Nah, yeah. get the fuck in the car. Let's we go. Yeah. You feel me? We mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. It takes a village to raise kids, bro. For me, so I'm leaving kids? my li my kids. I got ten year old, a two year old, and three year old. Okay, all right. For me, yeah. so it's like, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. At the end yeah, of the day, it's sure. different, yeah. bro. Like, niggas want to... Because, you know, niggas be basic and weak-minded, bro. Yeah. So they think like that. They never dealt with real-life shit, real-life bills. They ain't never bills. been through this type they of shit. They never been through like, nothing. Judge they, they be judging because yeah. they never been through real-life uh, shit. Yeah, 100%, 100%. So they basic. Because when they, when they girls cheat on them, they, they, they in the fucking... They in the fucking corner, like, I'm done with life. I'm, nigga, me? Oh, you cheated? All right, bet. Let me go get a bag. How you want to run this play? You want to run this play? You want to go to interviews? What you want to do? Let's let's run this up. Let's run this play. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I did a lot of shit. So let's run this play. I'm, I'm, I'm still mad, though. I'm mad, oh, like, oh, I'm, I'm fucked up. Yeah. Like, when you when you get cheated on, you fuck, but, like, now I'm thinking, like, like, I never stopped the bit. back. A yeah. nigga call, a, a nigga, she, I get you, a nigga call me and be like, yeah, I got 5000 I'm going to get that money. Fuck, oh, yeah. bro, you just cheated over. I don't remember that. I'm going to get this money. Fuck, I ain't letting that come between let me and this. No. Because I got to provide for the kids. I got to provide. Kids. Like, I like to have money on me. Shuffle. And that's what it is. That's what it is. That's it is. And I mean, one thing, I want to ask you this. What gave you the drive to keep getting up and going, man? Just dealing with so much and just, you know what I mean? You just everything being on the internet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your whole life and shit like that. It, you still find some way to stay positive like, and give up that positive message. I think that's when I got a whiff of your shit. Yeah. Again, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, what give you that push? It's my stability. Ride? It's my stability to knowing that um, I want to push love, man. It's my stability because we all have negative thoughts. We all wake up with, you know, want to do something negatively, but you also have to have that that positive positive side, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 100%. So that's why I always try to tap into my positive because I always wake up like, ooh, I can't wait till I see this nigga, I'm going to slap the shit out of him. But I'm like, if I slap the shit out of him and he caught, and he pressed charges, I already got shit going on. I don't need all that mm -hmm. extra shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Niggas going to tell nowadays, especially if you in a, oh, yeah. in a position that they not they gonna try to get money out you, yeah, something, 100%. sue you. Yeah. I don't, man. I don't trust nobody with this shit no oh, more. No. You feel me? So you just gotta have stability to know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just wake up in the morning with a level head and just, you know, have a different brink and outlook on life That's because weird. life is precious and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You gotta just know how to live it. You gotta know how to live it, and you and the way you gotta know how to live it is when you making money and you making revenue and you doing what you need to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 100%. never let you never make money your master. You make the money. Yeah. Make the money. Don't let the money make you. Hundred percent. Simple. That's we all heard that. Mm -hmm. And I never let the money make me. That's why I always get it. Damn. For Able sure. Right there, man. For sure. Comedian or rapper. People don't I'm know. A, I'm like, a, I'm, I ain't no comedian. Niggas always want to box me in and shit. Don't yeah, box, box me, me in. in. I'm a bastard. Don't, 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 don't box me in, nigga. <laughs> I'm an that. entertainer. Mm, okay. Okay. Nigga, I ain't no fucking comedian. I don't do no stand up. I don't know how to do it. I don't, and I don't have the, uh, the, the, the care too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I love the people. I love people. I love seeing people smile and laugh and shit like that. And be, you know, I love, I always been a class clown. Of course. Mm -hmm. That's growing up in the urban community, duh. Mm -hmm. The fuck you want to be the life of the party? You want to get the women to laugh. Mm -hmm. I love to make women laugh. Mm -hmm. Fuck making a nigga laugh. I like to make the women laugh. Mm -hmm. That's the quickest way to they fucking pussy. To make them laugh. <laughs> The fuck? You ain't fucking lying. <laughs> Feel me? When you can make a woman laugh and make them smile, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, no, I'm saying, nah, seriously. <laughs> when you can make a woman laugh and, and, and just, like, you know, and make them, like, they caught you, like, where you at? I just want to laugh. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? You don't want the nigga that be serious all the time, gangbanger. Y'all about, about to go shoot 12 niggas and shit like that. <laughs> I'm gang. I'm ga <laughs> niggas all gangsta. Everybody gangsta. But you know, like, damn, I mean, some women like that shit. But I, I know most women, most women that I have dealt with, they like a nigga that just, you know, come on, let's go bowling. You gonna make me laugh, right. nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you don't make me laugh today, nigga, you ain't touching me. Boom, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? So it's just about making them smile, no, making them, no, you know, shit. feel good. So that's my shit. I don't I ain't no fucking comedian. I'm an entertainer for the world. I'm the I'm an entertainer. Mm -hmm. I do everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm an entertainer, but I don't, I'm not no comedian though. Don't and that's what people. Me. And that's what people fell to realize. They always want to put me in that box because I came from doing, I'm the pioneer. Mm. I'm the head honcho right. of doing funny videos. You know what I'm saying? So they want to always put me in that box. Mm. Facts. But, 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 bro, you can make some motherfucking music, man. That, the drone fly, what is it, fly away? Yeah, fly away. Get the fuck back in that bag. What is you doing? I know, that's what I'm saying. Right now, I, I got records like that. That's I got, I got, I got, I got records like that. You know what I'm saying? That's sure one of my biggest joints. In. 
I got records like that. But what it is right now, what I'm doing, I'm just positioning it in a certain way. Like with, with the way the time's going, it's like the music that's being broadcasted right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going with them times. But you, you, you no, nah, I was going to give you a credit. I like the, the, the two joints that you just dropped. The joint that you dropped last night and another joint I just tuned them, tapped into, it's like a give you the streets. Like, yeah. it shows that I'm in every lane. Like, that's, every so that, lane. that's, that's the bag you in, Yeah, right? that's, that's the bag I'm in because okay. then you got to multitask. Mm, okay. Yeah, you got to multitask. Okay. I'm, in, I'm, I'm in every lane. Every <laughs> lane. I'm in one lane because when you're in two lanes, you can't. You might get in an accident. You might. Mm. I'm in one lane, but I'm, 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 I skirt over this lane real quick and mm. skirt right back. I put my mm. signal on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. That's basically how I, how I how I maneuver. One hundred percent. Facts. Shit, man. Listen, so we want we we gotta cover some topics before you slide out and shit like cool. that. You know what I mean, a lot of shit. Like, but I'm here. I'm here. I, mean, I appreciate like you for that. having me. You I already know when you come to Philly. You already know. Yeah. You know what I mean. I said, like, like, you definitely got to bring your man on. Uh, South, he's doing yeah. South Jersey down. Yeah. You bring rappers with you. Like, let them know. Shout your man out. Let them know. What, what Shout out to my artist, OG Homie. You know what I'm saying? Doing real big. Sure. Coming out of Violent, New Jersey. The biggest artist in the world. Biggest artist in America. OG Homie. If you ain't heard of him, go tap in. You know what I'm saying? Tap into his music. OG Homie. H-O-M-I. OG Homie. Go tap in. Not the little one. The big one. Pause. Um, yeah, we outside. You tap in, you come to Philly, you fucking with Meatball. Shout out to yeah, Meatball. Yeah, shout out Meatball, you, you know what I'm saying? O'Malley. I love Meatball. O'Melly, O'Melly, my God, that's my big that's bro. That's my brother. I shout love O'Melly, you know what I'm saying? He doing great things for the community, great things for the city. That's my dog. Great things for himself, a real humble, good nigga. Solid, you know what I'm saying? Nigga. Solid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no schmutt on his name. Shout out O'Melly. Yeah. It's my brother for life, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Quilly, too. Quilly, a good yeah, nigga. Well, I, I tapped in with Quilly two, three years ago. Yeah. That's my dog, you, you know what I'm saying? Giant, you feel me? Bro. That's my dog. Yeah. Real good nigga. Shout Streets. Out. You know what I'm saying? I don't give Stop. a fuck what he got going on. He going to tap in with me. I'm going to tap in with him. It's yeah. a real connection. It's a real authentic bond. You know what I'm no, saying? That's so, true. You fucking tapping in with the city. That's... Like you yeah. over here showing love. And I fuck with Meek too. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to ask you how you feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I see. Back I fuck then, with Meek too. Look, was, all was, the all the allegations about my my nigga Meek. You know what I'm saying about my dog Meek. I, yeah. I I don't I don't get into all that because I I I seen Meek and I know how he carry it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't think I don't think I don't think in my right mind that he would be on some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? In my that, right I, mind. I don't put it on you. You feel me? I, I would never, I would same. never, I would never put that on the man because that shit corny. That shit whack. So shout out to Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying? Put like putting but on. But you see how they can take a do. whole a nigga brand down? Like you just, know what I'm saying? Just from just saying that type of shit, like. That's what I'm saying. But you know that comes from a side of arrogance. You know my son Meek, he be on some arrogant <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, my son Meek be going he crazy on nigga. He a tourist. He a tourist. Though. Yeah, yeah, tourist. My yeah. son Meek go crazy on your ass. So you see, like, so you think that's karma? I mean, it ain't karma, but I'm the same way sometimes because I be tripping too. But yeah. My son Meek could go off on you. He no, didn't tell no, you me, get out yeah. the section. Yeah. He didn't tell you close that motherfucking door. He will be ready to fight you, nigga. Like that's my <laughs> son. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Meek. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think. But I don't like. I never want to. Nah, hell no. They they got my son fucked up. You know what I mean? Like it, man. I don't like that shit because north, because bro. we because we grew up on Meek. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. We grew and, up on and you. We man, man. I don't even know. I don't, it's just some it's just some blacklist shit that's going on. Because So that's the industry shit. That's some industry shit, bro. He I don't know. He's like, independent. He bro, independent because right you now. gotta understand, Meek fuck with Robert Kraft and Mike Rubin. Them yeah. a million, billion, billionaires. Yeah, 100 percent It don't take that much money to pay the fuck up his name from somebody else who a billionaire millionaire. That's probably yeah. beefing with Robert Kraft or Mike Rubin or some shit like that. You never know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They like, damn, this black motherfucker is fucking with Mike Rubin. Doing Mike, too much. Yeah, this they they looking at this. They looking at this. This this black urban kid that been locked up that that makes street music is fucking with Robert Kraft and Mike Rubin and they love him. <laughs> we are gonna fuck his name up too. And he's fucking reform at that. He he doing a reform he for, for the jails to get people out? out the jails to get people out the jails. Of course we are gonna fuck Meek Mill's name up. Of course mm. we wanna fuck his name up. Damn. So they gonna do anything in their power to fuck his name up, bro. So I don't, no. I don't, I don't condone niggas trying to play with my son Meek because he, he doing some. I, I mean, I don't know what he got going on with himself, but he doing something different for the community. He trying to free niggas that's in jail. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like 100%. no matter what's going on, yeah. no matter you no, know, he trying to free niggas that's in jail. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I, I like, bro, they, bro, he, bro, he, I never seen no black people. I never seen a black person fuck with like 
team like like billionaire niggas. No, I, I never seen them in my life. Like that. I, I, I never I, that I, love him. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga came out of jail, fat, and the nigga fucking the, what a helicopter. Bro, helicopter. Bro, we ain't I, never I'm, seen no shit bro, like that. Bro, you know me could call Robert Kraft and be like, yo, I need ten M's, like a like like a like a thousand dollars. Like, yo, hey Robert Kraft, yo, hey Kraft, like send me ten real quick. He like ten what? Ten M's? He's like, yeah, it's coming right now. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little ten ball or something. Like, yeah, I'm sending it right now. I right, cool. You got it? I bet you cash tap that. They cash tap with them ten mil. Hundred percent. A million dollars. Five hundred thousand. You know, Mika Street nigga, he in the casino, like, ah, he got all my cars right. on me. Hey, yo, hey, Mike, hey, Mike Rubin, yeah, send me like 500,000 real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, cash app it. My cash app, the limit is up. You feel me? They doing <laughs> shit like that with him. So, you feel that's his real friend. So, I, you know, people be mad at that. People be hating on that. Yeah. That a black urban kid from the community yeah. that, that beat the odds, that beat shit, that beat like, that's you feel real. me? Like life, like a lot of mm. life death situations. Mm. They gonna do that, bro. That shit corny you to me feel though. Like they did that to you. I mean, I they, 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 I, I see what they tried. They, they tried to do because like, we see what's going on now. Yeah, they, like tried, they tried to do the same shit. They you. tried to do it with me. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't. Like mm -hmm. they tried to cancel me like back in November when they seen a like a little viral video of uh, me and my ex-wife, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. They try to say, oh, I hit women and all that shit, whatever the case may be. That ain't even the case, bro. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, people got to understand when you frustrated with certain things, like, that bring the worst out of you. So, yeah. motherfuckers can't say what they don't know. They mm -hmm. just they just have opinions and assume. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's all. When you assume you have opinions, that's all you got. Shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing else. You don't mm -hmm. know what's going on. Uh, behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on. So all you could do is opinionate. Yeah, that's 100%. it. And that's what a lot of people do for my city. They yeah. got opinions. Damn. They talk too fucking much. Damn. Niggas talk like bitches. Bitches going, bitches going to have their own perception. We got to mm -hmm. get a women their own perception. Let them mm -hmm. talk. They got yeah. periods and shit. They got yeah, yeah, They got, emotions they got and... They have, they produce kids. Yeah. Let them have their feelings. But niggas talk like hoes. Yeah, the new, niggas talk the new, like yeah. bitches. I don't get into all that competitional shit with niggas. Yeah. When they start talking, man, I'm getting in the car. I'm, right, I'm, I'm, I'm sliding right. off. I'd rather be in a hotel room by myself than to deal with, like, conversation and niggas arguing and dealing with F&Es, dealing yeah. with feelings and emotions. I catch Flights. I don't catch feelings and emotions. Yeah. That's not what I do. I catch flights, flights to go get money and to live my life and be free. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't got time to deal with people that that. Oh my! I hate that nigga. I hate that nigga. Like nigga, use yeah. a man. <laughs> Leave him alone. Then don't go around them. Hundred percent. Like you know what I'm saying? Leave that shit alone. Go over there. Go get some money. Mm -hmm. Nobody got time for that. This, like what's going on in the streets? And we about to close in a little bit. I feel like what about what's going on in the streets with the youngers and shit like that. Like it's 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 going because my city, like it's it's like it's a, it's a gap between the youngest and, and the older niggas and shit like that. It's not you know. I, I mean I blame it. the older niggas for that uh -huh. because once you give like you said earlier before off camera yeah. like you said before once these niggas get their paper mm -hmm. and all that they feel untouchable they feel yeah. invincible. Yeah. Once you give a nigga a million dollars, what you think he gonna do? He gonna act like yeah. Superman. Yeah. He ain't gonna act like he, he ain't gonna act like uh Doby from uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> Right. Uh, you know Doby. You, sure. Have you seen Harry Potter? Niggas know who Doby is. <laughs> a nigga ain't gonna act like Doby from Harry Potter. They gonna act like Superman. They gonna sure. they gonna think they can fight through the kryptonite, yeah. but you can't. Yeah. But at the end of the day, these these older niggas they think respect like respect is respect. Yeah, you post out, but nigga like these young niggas they let money money is their new respect. Damn, money is their new respect. Yeah, money is their new That's respect, shit, bro. Money is that if you ain't a, a young nigga right now, all them niggas that's popping where you from, if you ain't got money, they don't respect you. They be like, man, you ain't got no money, nigga. I don't respect you, nigga. Mm. Back then, back in the day, if you ain't had no paper, nigga still respect you. Exactly. They like that, that nigga a killer. Yeah. He ain't got no money. He, he play, a broke he, nigga, but we still he respect him. He come through, we gotta make sure. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So money is the new fucking respect nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But money is the new respect, but I know where I come from. Mm -hmm. Like I like I just told you, mm -hmm. like you got the killers in the streets. Mm -hmm. The killers in the street, they broke. Mm -hmm. No money. You still respect him. Oh, that's oh shit, that's oh that's big bro. Like, oh, yeah. what's up, big bro? Yeah. Like that's he ain't got no is. money. Yeah. yeah, that's how it works. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. money is the new respect, bro, and niggas don't understand that. So that's why these young they, they be so mad and frustrated, like, yo, why this nigga don't respect? Because money is the mm -hmm. new respect. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Fuck do you don't get, old That's head? Crazy. That's crazy. You, you got to understand this. You got niggas touching paper now. You Like I say, you give a nigga a million dollars, he going to think he's fucking Superman. He ain't dopey no more. <laughs> you can't send him to the store. You're going to be like, old head, stop fucking talking about me. <laughs> send who to the store, nigga? We'll kill you out here, nigga. Ever ask me to go to the store, they be, for me, they pull out the money too with a gun. Like, nigga, you see what I got on me, nigga? I got a whole 10 ball on me, nigga. Ask me to go to the store again. But back, but, <laughs> but, but, uh, uh, pre, uh, rewind. When it, like they were eighteen, like what twenty three now? But rewind when they were sixteen, you could send them to the store. Uh-huh. They'd be like, "Yeah, I go for you. Oh hey, I got you. You feel me? I got you. No problem. Oh hey, like I say, I go to the store for you. No uh-huh. problem. Like what you need? I can get something. You feel me? Now nah, it was different. Super different, dog. You feel me? So, damn man. So what's going on, man? In, 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 in love life, man. What's up, man? What we doing? In my love life, I ain't really yeah. doing too much. I'm just chilling. Doing me, you know what I'm saying? Just maneuvering the V, you know what See, I'm saying? Are you, you back on your bully shit? Or, 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 or no, don't I saw the group? Yeah, I'm just that. chilling. I ain't really yeah. doing too much, you okay. know what I'm saying? Because you can't, sometimes you can't give a lot of women your energy mm-hmm. because that's what it, it becomes like, you know, it becomes, drain, it becomes draining. Like mm-hmm. women can't get men their energy a lot, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like I like beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, you know, for me, I like beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? man. You looking ain't good no though, man. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Appreciate the weight it. loss. What's ever going on? Give me the, give me the, the secret, please. Cause I got. Uh, basically, trying, I've been I'm a pescatarian. Sh- I've been a pescatarian for like nine years. Mm-hmm. 2018, I was 367 pounds. Wow. Now I'm like 240. That's I just tripled number. down, like you know what I'm saying, like eating certain things and shit like that. 240. You know? I'm 240. I feel crazy. I'm 280. You 280? Yeah, just in, in a year, I just shot up. like. But you tall, smoking. though, so. Yeah, like, you tall. You're like, you tall. You're taller guy, shit like that. But, yeah, yeah I'm like two. I'm like 240 and shit like okay. that. You know, I got to lose more. I want to be like 200, mm-hmm. solid, nice, ripped up, tatted up, shit like that. Yeah. And I'm going to get it by like 2025 for sure. 100%. Mark my words on that. 100%. Um, but, yeah, man, just like, you know, just trickle down. Don't eat a lot of shit. You know, go to the... Go to the gym. I've been slacking for the last couple months, but yeah. it's nothing to jump back in it and just stay on the grind and do what I need to do. Yeah. But you know, health is wealth, man. Like, health if you is got wealth, the money, if you got the money and shit like that, how can you spend it when you ain't healthy? Yeah, you know? 100%. 100%. So you just got to be healthy. You got to make sure you maintain the level of uh, knowing that, you know, you got to be healthy. Yeah. In this world, like, I know I drink and shit like that. That shit not healthy for me. But I like Don Julio Reposado, though, man. Take a shot at that. Why you just man, said I that? Man, I love, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, 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 like, seriously, like, this Don Julio Reposado, bro, like, I fucking love it. Like, I'm, ser- I'm serious. This is my, one of my, this is, not one, this is my best friend, my nigga, like. Over the, hen- over the Henny? Like, over the Henny, over this, when this <laughs> shit came into my life, this shit fucked my life up. <laughs> this shit like this shit like when Pookie was on New Jack City and he did that motherfucking like this fucked my life up. Like when this shit came into my like and I started drinking again in 2021. I stopped drinking. Damn. Yeah, bro. When this shit came into man, my the, the motherfucking Don, man. Don Julio, man. Fuck me up, man. But I love it though. <laughs> man, like, what, I mean, for the people that's overlooking. And don't know like who came before him. Like, like, what's some words you got to say to him? Like, I mean, for the, I mean, because you know that's what my show about, man. Bringing y'all on, man. Letting the youngins know who came before y'all, man. Like for real. But you, you came before who? You birthed the whole generation, bro. I mean, I did a lot, bro. I mean, shout out to the niggas who show support and tap back in and always like show gratitude and shit like that. But I put a lot of niggas on. I did a lot of due diligence. I did a lot mm-hmm. of what I was supposed to do. I don't give a fuck if they don't come back and grab. I'm going to do me for sure. Yeah. I'm going to get me, nigga, nigga me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get me some paper. Yeah. I'm going to do what I need to do. Yeah, 100%. If I got to sell paint, I'm going to get me some money, some money. Fuck what everybody think. I don't give a fuck about what nobody think. I'm ashamed and all. I'm going to get me some paper. Yeah. I'm going to have some paper in my pocket. We fuck everybody else. Because niggas, out, niggas move out of here by pride and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Man, fuck all that. I'm going to get me some paper. 100%. Nigga, I got kids, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about me. I don't give a fuck about the uh, the normal, the fucking famous. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I want some paper. Mm-hmm. I want some paper to live good, take trips, eat good, do what I need to do. Fuck mm-hmm. everybody else. Fuck you. you Plain go. and simple. I don't care what you think about me. I've been talking about my whole life. 
Jesus been talked about. Everybody been talked about yeah. their whole life. Fuck them. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. If you ain't getting no money, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't doing that constructive with your life, mm-hmm. what the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. You just begging? You just around begging all the time? Nobody yeah. got time for that, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and what it is, like, the only people that... The only, the only species on this world that really can... Like, you know, that I really support and I really... I do shit for, and I'm not a trick, is women. Like, I'm not a trick. I'm not, it's not, it's not, I'm not a trick, but it ain't tricking if you got it, but I'm not a trick, but I love doing tri- <laughs> No, yeah. but I like doing shit for women. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. you know what I'm saying? It ain't about like, it, 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 you know when it's tricking, like when a woman comes through, you know what I'm saying, for a change of like sex or whatever. Yeah. No, if we vibing, we chilling, you eat like the fuck. Of course, if you with me, I'm gonna get, if I'm getting my feet done, you're gonna get your feet done. Of course, if you with me, if I'm, if I'm eating roof Chris, I'm not gonna let you eat McDonald's. Mm-hmm. We, we, we vibing. This is an experience. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, that's the only species on this world, like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, my yeah, niggas. For real. And my for real. Ma- main niggas that I be around, Paul. Because mm-hmm. that shit sound crazy. Main niggas. That my was my crazy. niggas. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. crazy. My niggas. Yeah. So what's up with the entertainment shit? You know, other movies ain't we yeah, I, 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 got, I need I got, a documentary. I got, the, like, I got the four big I got one I got the biggest movie of two B right now. It's called okay. Trust Nobody Two. The okay. biggest movie on Two B. It got the mo- it got a lot of it's one of the biggest movies on Tubi. That's true. And Tubi the next big thing. Yeah, That's, one of the biggest yeah, movies on Tubi, thing. but I got four movies on Tubi. I got Trust Nobody One, if you ain't see it, go see it. Trust nobody two, if you ain't see it, go I see go it. Tune in. I got these men up for everybody and power and money. And mm. now we in the process of getting the contracts and shit right. Cause I told Steve I want a 50 ball. Mm-hmm. I want a 50 piece. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I want a 50 piece, no hot sauce, no nothing. Mm-hmm. I want a 50 piece. Cause you know the hot sauce, that's the aggravation. Oh why well, I got no, mm-hmm. I don't want nothing. I want a 50 piece, no hot sauce. Mm-hmm. 50 piece. <laughs> Please. Want a plane right there. Uh, mm-hmm. serve to me. So <laughs> Steve getting that right with the contract and shit, so we're gonna be shooting Trust Nobody Four. That's fine. Real soon, and it's gonna be like a um, a, a what you call that shit, a spinoff of my character. Fire. In fucking Trust Nobody Three because I was the fan favorite in Trust Nobody Two. Yeah. 100%. Trust Nobody Three, I had a small role mm. in that shit because Steve ain't wanna pay me. Mm. Yeah, Steve, you ain't wanna pay that me. That money right. Steve. I love you. She ain't wanna pay me, but you paid me. You gave me something, but I had a small role in it. She ain't wanna pay me. But mm-hmm. trust nobody for he getting that budget together. Mm-hmm. So we lit. So man, if he ever gonna get that Queen's Fist fight on the Gilly Fest, you know, you know I had to ask that he said, for the people. No, uh, uh no, I, I don't be doing that boxing shit. You ain't, oh. If he ain't not in the bag, if nah, it's a bag. No, because with me, I'm a nigga, I don't like niggas hitting me in my face. <laughs> you hit me too hard, nigga. I might lie with a bite, so I'm trying to hit you with a bat. I don't like all that shit, bro. I've been that type of nigga my whole life. I don't like getting hit in my face. That shit hurt. What? Getting hit in your face, my nigga? For you, a couple dollars? Man? For a couple? I'm not for doing million, all that. I, man, listen. You listen. hit me the wrong way, nigga. I'm I might gonna knock you the fuck out. Not even knock you I'm out. I'm going to have to take the gloves off, though. Yeah, but I'm going to try to rush you. I'm going to try yeah, to yeah, hit yeah, I'm you. I ain't, I'm no rules. I'm, going no rules. T- I'm yeah. looking for the homies to yeah, rush you and shit. 100%. 100%. 100%. I ain't got time to be... 100%. 100%. I ain't got time to be getting hit in my face, bro. That shit hurt, bro. I don't like that shit, bro. I'm just saying, I saw the live with you. With y'all and Gilly was on the live. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I threw, and I, that's how I threw y'all was hats yeah. on the works and shit like that. I mean, I'll fight Queen Flip and shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? The bag got to be right. I'm not no sucker. I'm none of them niggas Gilly and Wallow had on this fucking, his, his, hey, his, dude. um, <laughs> his what's the name, nigga? I want, two, I want damn near a ticket. Me, boy. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's going to sell. That's gonna I want a ticket. <laughs> I want a, I want a big ticket pause. I want a ticket. <laughs> I want, I want... I won six figures. Like I'm not going in there for no ten thousand. No, no, no. Who the no, fuck no. you think I am? Nigga, I could make ten thousand staring at the wall. I'm not going there for no ten five thousand. I ain't no rookie, <laughs> nigga. I'm a pro. <laughs> nigga, the fuck. Hell no. You gotta give me a quarter million more than that. No. Fuck. Cause the tickets gonna sell once my name and the way I position, the way I do my marketing. I run a company called Hustle Marketing. Mm. So the way I do my shit is guerrilla marketing. We're going to sell that bitch out. We're going we're gonna to make this shit the biggest fight. We're going to make this shit bigger than Muhammad Ali and George Foreman, nigga. Yeah, like, no, no, this no. shit is big. Like, what? I come with a lot. I come with a package deal. I come with experience. So you got to yeah. pay me for that. No, for real, because nigga got to go lock in for three months and all that shit. And, come on. You're not about to get that this, shit free. Yeah, yeah, we ain't going to get rich off my pain. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I love Gillian Wallow. They, they, they're my big bros. You know, they got, they definitely got to catch, saying, catch I need a quarter million. I need a quarter million or more. <laughs> Barstool paying. 
Shit, and niggas gonna come out to see that shit. Like, yeah. I see you locked in with AB. I see y'all got yeah. a good relationship and hey, shit. AB, my real family. Yeah. That's my real brother. Then they got this. A solid room? nigga? Huh? He a solid nigga? Who? AB? AB? Hell yeah. yeah. AB, my man, she got a room for me in the, at the mansion right now. Shout out to AB. Hey, you feel me? AB, they might be like, he broke. That nigga ain't broke. About billions. Man, that nigga ain't broke. They just want to see him back. Yeah. You know, but that's my nigga though. And I train with him, I'm knocking somebody out. Cause my shit already sharp and my shit like, I'm ready to punch a nigga, but I don't like getting hit. All that pain, I'm, I'm gonna get that shit off. Especially I go to the gun quit. range if that's the case. But I don't like getting hit in my face. Once you hit my face too hard, then I, like start, this. I start getting dizzy and shit. <laughs> I start getting mad and shit. And then you gotta understand some niggas that don't like you, they gonna keep hitting you. You like, you gonna be just getting dinged in your face and shit. Like I'm not doing all that shit hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna let up out here and come and pull out the strap. Right, I'm, trying, the I'm trying to shoot a nigga down because you get you hit me too hard. <laughs> then if a nigga slap you and shit, you like, nigga, oh damn, he slapped me and shit, you know? <laughs> no, that's real shit though. You ain't got time for that? Hell no. You ain't about to hit keep hitting me in my face. Oh nah. man, hundred percent, man. Oh man, what you working on, man? I mean, what's what's new, man? While we closing, man, let the people know what's to come and shit like that. You at Onyx? I see you put a, a fly up. You just was in Boston too, right? Yeah, I was in Boston. You running around, man? Let you going crazy. Know. I was in Miami, Boston. Um, I'm about to go mm -hmm. to uh, L.A. Mm -hmm. Go crazy out there and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bro. Yeah, going nuts, bro. I've been doing this shit ten years solidly. Mm, ten. This ain't ten. nothing. You know what I'm saying? I've been yeah. on planes. Like I said, I don't catch feelings. I catch flights. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. that's what's needed. You know, I, I'm outside. Like I've been in three, I've been in three states yeah. in one day before. I've Dang. been, in, I landed in Miami, mm. landed, chilled in Miami for an hour. Was mm. on a plane. I'm in Cali. I'm in Cali for four mm. hours. I'm shooting real quick. Boom, I'm out. I'm, I'm in fucking mm. Massachusetts again. You know, shit like mm. that. I've been doing that shit. I've been on that run for. Years, bro. Who I'm gave 30. you that drive? Who you looked at that was? I mean, consistent. I just knew it. I knew, still, I, yeah. I knew what this shit consisted of. You got to stay on the grind. You got to stay moving. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. wait for nobody. When you that's, wait for somebody, shit ain't going to come. You think you're the biggest nigga in the world? No, it's somebody going to be out there that's bigger mm -hmm. and, and, and come up. Mm -hmm. Nigga, it's, it's success right now is happening overnight. So you think a yeah. motherfucker care about you? No, you got to keep maneuvering the V. You got to keep making shit new and relevant. You got to keep your relevancy up. And that's what mm -hmm. I do. For me, if it come down to I crack a nigga head, crack a nigga head with a Don Julio bottle. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, you gotta yeah. keep it on, you know what I mean? Shit. You gotta keep it on the um on the up and up. You can't, you gotcha. can't let them see you. You feel me? Niggas ain't I ain't no Playboy Cardi where I could just be mystique and be, you know, keep like, yeah, I'm hiding and <laughs> bitch, I need this bread. Bitch, I gotta be outside. I'm outside. Yeah. Like, a, like a nigga homeless. You're outside, right? outside. What you think about sure. the rap the rap this is, man? Huh? What's going on and shit? Kendrick Lamar's and all I that. I mean, I don't know, man. You know, he they, tuned into it. Them niggas is rich. Them niggas need to just chill out. Okay. Cool down. You know what I'm saying? We ain't beefing about no hoes. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? We happy. We living life. Niggas is millionaires. I don't know what it, I think I don't know. All this shit is fake. For content, I don't you think? I niggas. think this shit is content. I don't know. <laughs> Cause I just seen Drake and Travis Scott got a song. I don't know about this shit. I fuck with everybody. I fuck with, fuck with everybody. Like I be with. I fuck with. I fuck with Future. I mm. fuck with Drake. I fuck with Kendrick Lamar. I yeah. fuck with Travis Scott. Travis Scott told me when I, I I seen like funny thing is when me and Travis Scott was at Diddy party. Travis Scott like bro. He like the shit you doing for black people. Like Travis just came out of Travis Scott mouth itself to me, and I never forget it on my kids. He was like, the shit you doing for black people is great. Damn. Travis Scott was like, the shit you doing for black people is great. He said, don't never stop. He That's said, keep true. going. He like, said, Fat Boy, listen to me. What you doing for, he said it again. What you doing for black people is great. They need to see that. Wow. Facts. That's no kizzy. Yeah, that would have stayed right here. It's, it stayed. Yeah, I just yeah. told That's you what he thrill. said. It stayed. That's true. That's true. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it, it, it stuck to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Travis Scott. Shout yeah. out Busy, because Busy, my dog, too. Busy is from Jersey. That's who be running around with Travis Scott. Busy yeah. responsible for a lot of people's careers and shit like that. So yeah, yeah he 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 move, he maneuver a lot of people's careers and shit like that. He yeah. helped a lot of careers. So shout out my nigga Busy from yeah. out of Jersey City and shit like that. Um, yeah. but yeah, when Travis Scott told me that shit, he just like you know it stuck to me. You know what I'm saying? So I just ran with that shit ever since and then kept being consistent. 
Uh, don't fucking Facts. stop, man. I appreciate Facts. you because you're sharing the game with me. Yeah, I'm coming course. up in the ring course, and you're sharing man. the game with your peoples. We've been in here vibing and shit like that. You calling people, oh, come up. Come. You ain't feeling yeah. tapping with it. I appreciate that, of bro. Of course. Stay light, stay, stay sturdy like nah, that, of bro. course. That's you forever. Got, yeah. I'm never going to stop. Yeah, for sure, Never going to stop. You know what I'm saying? You see how this shit went? Yeah. I need my, I need my nigga OG Homie, K Goddess. <laughs> yeah. My man Doobie on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? A couple for other real. people. You know, we're going to maneuver the V because that's how you keep adding to the pot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cause you never know with one of them you get a viral. You know you already viral with the with the podcast shit. You get a one nice viral moment with one of them and go boom. Yeah. Yeah, you, you feel me? So you know appreciate I mean? you, bro. For real. Facts. Always got a spot in Philly, man. For nah, I real. appreciate it, man. I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Sure. We, we, we ain't missing nothing, did we all? You miss anything? I think before we close out. What y'all think? <laughs> what you think? Nah, facts? Yeah, nah, that's facts. cool. You think? Yeah, that's cool. I think it was cool. Yeah, we good. Yeah, that's... All right. Before we close out, we already know. Plug your shit in. Plug everybody's shit in. I mean, let them know what is, what's, I mean, what's going on and shit. I mean, you can follow me at Fatboy on Instagram. You know, I got my um my my uh food show coming out called Two Caesar. That's that's going to be a good jump. Yeah, hell yeah. We just shot the first episode yesterday. Um, Shout out to all the investors that fuck with me and shit like that. Appreciate you. Shout out to my nigga Rob Testin, my role manager. Um, shout out to fucking OG Hami coming out of Violent, New Jersey. Carcio, the unknown animal. All the artists in New Jersey doing their thing. All the Philly artists. I like yeah. I like KD. Oh, I got I, now I got to bring up. Yeah, KD. She I like, got, I she like, I like top yeah. I like KD. I like KD. Hundred percent. She dope. Yeah, as a female yeah. rapper. Yeah, you know, she remind me of a Foxy Brown type shit. And she got it. Yeah, she I got fuck it. with yeah. I fuck with KD out okay. there. Okay. We gonna bring you know her on the show. Yeah, yeah, we gonna yeah. bring her um, on. So yeah, shout out to all the Philly rappers, all the rappers on the East Coast, cause you know how hard it is for us to come up. Yeah, you know, so. how hard as shit. Man. You know what I mean? So yeah. shout out to everybody doing their thing, for man. Sure. You know, I appreciate it. To yeah. being on Philly First Forty Eight, this is fire. I appreciate you, man. Give me Legendary. one of the uh, big appreciate dog coming you. through, appreciate blessing you. me. You appreciate already know, y'all tune you in. You already know. This already it, know. Then we gonna do another one. Yeah, you already know. Part yeah, two gonna come soon. You already know. Johnny Mac, we signing out. Philly First Forty Eight.